I'm Jim Jarvie, Director for Climate Change, Natural Resources and Environment for a humanitarian development organisation called Mercy Corps. Here at the Fuller Symposium, I'm talking about um, our Jakarta Urban Programme, but trying to link that into how can we work better with the conservation organisations and put the urban environment that we're working in for poverty risk reduction in the context of um, the wider environment around the city and the impact that has on the vulnerable poor. 50% of the world's population is urban. It's going to be 58%, some reckon, by 2020. This is one of the most urgent issues we have around at the moment. It's the concentration of poverty, the concentration of risk. Unless we deal with that now, we're waiting for major problems in the future. And there's not enough urgency around this, and I hope my talk today got that urgency through. Conservation organisations and humanitarian organisations have been thinking about working together. But from the humanitarian perspective, whereas we recognise that natural environment is absolutely fundamental to security of communities, we've always kind of managed to miss a boat. Now, why is this? I reckon that the conservation community sensibly takes a global view, looks at where the biodiversity priorities are, looks at where the gaps are, and then works with people, with local communities, to help people develop, but to conserve the biodiversity priority hotspots, ecoregions, species that um, have set the agenda for that organisation. Humanitarian organisations, by contrast, work at a community level around the community um, on issues of immediate concern to communities and very rarely take into account the wider landscape. As we're seeing with climate change, the wider landscape is going to change, it's going to have serious impact, it's going to exacerbate storms, erosion, floods, you name the risk. And that's making the, the humanitarian community pay more attention to wider geographic and wider temporal um, contexts. And I think as the humanitarians are widening and as the conservation community takes more account of communities' fundamental priorities, we're starting to find a convergence. And in that convergence, I think we can find a way of securing the environment, securing humanity's most vulnerable communities to mutual benefit. And for that reason, we really do need to be working a lot better together.